The briefing was, it was about the character of the place. There are areas of Amagansett, which is the town that we're located in, have, have a different, different character, whereas this one has, it's what you would call a pasture um, setting, and it, they have the, the horses, and, and years ago, this is where livestock would, would graze. And that's, that's how we arrived at a lot of these details, and especially the forms that reflect the, the local vernacular of this area. Um, this whole area used to be all cleared, 100% and it was just grasses where the Indians used to hunt and then when the settlers came here they would they would cordon off sections and they would grow the grass let the livestock feed when that was depleted they'd move them to the next section and kind of move around the property the gen genesis of this project was was understanding one was sort of their aesthetics and what inspired them. Um, two was a sense of the community and the history. And then three was uh, the craft. You know, in the immediate vicinity, we had some, some challenges where the farm field that's facing due west, so the orientation of the house and how do we site that. Um, there's also, there's, there's the entry that you, when you first come up to the house that we wanted to kind of hide and sort of shelter a bit from the road to give it privacy. And, and that's why when you see in the design, we elevated the, the landscape in front of the house. And so your experience is kind of walking through and you're filtering through the landscape before you come into the house. One of the, the wings of the house is the family wing, where the, the children's bedrooms are, the master bedroom is. The center volume is the public area where you have kitchen, living, dining, entertaining. And then the third component is for guests. There's a guest wing. We make an effort to limit the number of materials, to have a small materials palette. We want to create an experience of the space and the environment that we're in the landscape through capturing views and, and scale and light in the rooms. We use a variety of grasses in the house, uh, in the landscape, whereas some are in bloom in the early part of the summer, some are in the late part of the summer. And so during the seasons, you, you have this sort of, this varied experience in the landscape. Being that the grass was such a focus, that's when we said, perhaps we can use it in the architecture of the house as a material. And most of the, the precedents for that are of much older historical structures. And so that really excited us to revisit something in a modern way. In doing some research, we found that there was, there was a handful of people, two, three people in the, in the country that actually still do this work and know those traditions. Um, and fortunately enough, one of them was willing to come out here and live out here. You know, in, in terms of, of design, I think it's nice to look at a place's culture, but also who the people are and why they are that way, and, and be able to capture that and reinterpret it in the architecture, but evolve it. I'm not saying that you're mimicking the traditions. You're relating to it, you're understanding why it was that way, and then you begin to build upon that. So in that respect, that's, for me, that's the importance of design, and I think it keeps the world interesting and unique.